Being a celebrity is not easy, especially being a celebrity in this Nigeria. It's like your whole life being a public affair and everyone has a say on it. Yeah guys, because most of the times I feel like these Nollywood actors and actresses, they even get married because they don't want like people to talk about it. They don't want giving birth and then people start calling them baby mama. We all remember when Chioma actually gave birth to Ifani, RIP to him for the video. And then the video had promised him by singing assurance for him and by giving her a ring so she became his fiance but after that they had split up guys you needed to see how people were dragging chioma people were saying that chioma will always end up in a baby mama level people were talking about so many things people did not even know the kind of plans chioma and the video had they didn't even know that they were planning to get married but fans were there dragging her the worst is even when Davido went for an interview and then they were asking him if he's ready to get married anytime soon and he said not really. He said Choma is very patient and so if Choma is patient, he is patient. People were just there under the comment section telling Choma that she will never graduate from being a baby mama to a wife. That if she does not take care, she will even have baby number two for Davido and he will not even put a ring on it. So guys, most of the times, no, these Nollywood actresses, they are even pregnant though. They get pregnant, but they decide to get married so that the public will not have a lot to say. Like, they will not drag them. You all know the um, Big Brother Niger housemate called Queen, right? The one who was in love with white money. Do you all know that she's almost um, a month from giving birth? She's soon giving birth. Maybe, like, next month she'll be giving birth. She recently just make, made her gender review, her baby gender review. People have been dragging her. People are like, you've gone and gotten pregnant out of marriage. Don't you know it is not good? Don't you know people have dragged her? Some people were like, you call yourself queen, but you don't even have a king. You are pregnant. Oh, lo, lo, lo. people have said so many things. Guys, I feel like we Nigerians should slow down with the dragging. Ah, most of our celebrities do a lot of things just because they don't want to be dragged. They don't want to be dragged, please. Let's all accept the fact that celebrities are free to, they are also humans. They are free to take decisions they want to take. They are free to decide. Why don't we behave like other fans in European countries who support their celebrities despite anything? Rihanna got pregnant without being married. Who dragged her? People were like, oh, Rihanna is pregnant. We can't wait to see the child. Well, news getting to our ears confirms the fact that Destiny Tico has put to birth. But this is obvious that Destiny was much more pregnant before getting married to jerry williams and i feel like even the marriage stuff were just to just crown the pregnancy because what would people have said what would people have said because people have been suspecting jerry williams and um destiny tico for dating like for a very long time people have been shipping them together people have been like these people must be dating the kind of chemistry they have in their movies the kind of comments they make under each other's post was not like the kind of friendly post so when they came online to announce their engagement it was all like wow wow it just confirmed all what fans were saying but the thing now is news getting to our ears from a close source confirms the fact that destiny has gone to give birth in the hospital and jerry williams is extremely happy how possible is it that someone gives birth one week after her wedding if not that she was much more pregnant before even getting married i feel like destiny Tico just wanted to avoid the dragon the kind of dragon queen just got because um, Big Brother Niger ex housemate Queen, she just announced her pregnancy. Oh, she had been pregnant since she announced her pregnancy this eight month. She announced it, and then um, people have been like, Queen, look at you, look at you, a fine gay, look at how you have gone. They have convinced you, they will not even marry you. Once a baby mama, always a baby mama. Like, where is it written? You guys don't know that not everyone, some people like meet up, they don't plan to get married, they just plan to like date. Or some even plan to like just have fun and then all of a sudden they get pregnant. What do you want them to do with the pregnancy now? Must they get married? Must they get married? Don't people know that not everyone meets on grounds of like love? Some people just meet like, okay, let's have fun. We live in a mature generation where not everyone wants to get married. So if someone is pregnant, what do we want the person to do with the pregnancy? If Queen would have not come online to announce her pregnancy, people, if she gives birth now and then she does not pose a child, people will be like, look at her. She's having a baby. She's keeping a baby out of social media. It's no good. Now she brings a baby and she's like, okay, this is it. I'm soon having a girl next month. People are like, who is the father? He will never marry you. Look at you. 
there's nitty go to i noticed that she has decided to be low-key with this her pregnancy stuff because fans normally would drag her yes nitiko is now having only old pictures that she's posting on a social media platform i mean like to keep the fans going to keep them going she knew that she was pregnant so she early she earlier took pictures now the problem now is guys i don't have problems with this nitiko giving birth after marriage oh. i don't have problem i have no problems with that my problem now is now that this nitiko went to do nyash how will she do now after giving birth would her nyash not come down Will she need to go back again to redo the niage? Because, huh, guys, I can't really bear to see this Nitiko do another niage because this one is really big. This one is big. This one is big. We all know these celebrities who are known for, like, having this figure eight. So, some of them are known for the figure eight that they have. Like, if you meet someone at the road who doesn't know the Destiny Nitiko's name, the first description they'll give you is that Nollywood actress who has, she has this, this gigantic Ikebe. They'll tell you about her niash first. So most of the times, they always try to like maintain the kind of shape they have because that is what they are known for. So there is no way Destiny Tiko will be willing to leave this Hanyash to go. Mm -mm. I don't think there's any way. I think she'll actually go and walk it again. And if she walks it, guys, it's going to turn out to be like Nancy Simes Ono. I don't want it hanging in the air. That's my only problem. But at the end of the day, let her do what makes her happy. I'm extremely happy that Destiny Tiko has decided to finally settle down with our Nollywood actor, Jerry Williams, who is 38 years of age. Jerry Williams grew up in Anambra State. Many people also had been dragging him that Jerry, at 38 years, forget about what people say that African men, even at 40, they are still young. Mm -mm. A young man should try to at least have his first child at the age of 40. So that when his child is growing up, he doesn't look that old. Like, his child can still be like, this is my father. And people are like, wow, your father should not be like, all old, old, old. You guys get. Congratulations to Destiny's Tico, guys. Any more information we're going to get about Destiny's child, we're going to give it to you all. Right now, we are extremely happy and we're extremely proud of them. I don't know why I feel proud of Destiny Tico, even though I'm not even fan. I'm not even close to her. She's not my family. I mean, like, after what that Chinyanye did to her, after Destiny tried to adopt um, Chinyanye, I feel like this is God's way of blessing Destiny Tiko because it seems like she likes children a lot. God has finally given her own, so she doesn't need to adopt anymore. Well, congratulations to Destiny and Jerry Williams. Guys, kindly give a thumbs up. Please, we should stop giving pressure to our Nollywood actors and actresses. We should let them be. They should do things when it pleases them and not because it makes us happy. We should also stop shipping people who have not come online to see that they are dating. We should leave them. Most of the time, they get into relationships because of us. Congratulations once more. Stay tuned, guys, and stay blessed.